Hey guys, Timberborn is here. Timberborn hits early access today. And you can't buy it on my game store, unfortunately. But I will put a link in the video description if you're interested in picking it up on Steam. Timberborn, otherwise known as Tree Killer Simulator 2021. You'll see why. It's all about beavers. New game. There are two factions that you can play. You can play as the Folk Tales, or you can play as, <laughs> as the Iron Thief, and they do talk to you. Hmm, the <laughs> okay, the um, the Iron Thief, they're into, um, they've mastered iron and science, and they build advanced machinery. Uh, we have to unlock those by playing the Folk Tales and getting them up to level 8 happiness. Uh, let's do that. We are going to play, there's one awesome map, where it's Thousand Islands. This map is really nice. So we're going to play on that map. We're going to play on normal. That's what the devs kind of, that's the normal playing experience. That's what the devs suggest you play on. Uh, if you want to play on hard, good luck to you. That's what I'm going to say. And here are our little beavers. And they are, they are staggeringly cute, the beavers, especially the little baby beavers. Look at the little baby beavers. Right. What are we going to do? Uh, we are going to follow the, um, uh, basically the tutorial path because it's uh, it, it tells you how to survive the first few days it's very good and I keep forgetting things so it's a good plan we're going to start off we're going to uh, we're going to grab path we're going to put a path up to the stairs here now unfortunately we've got some things in the way so we're going to get rid of them let's go to the demolish and demolish resources we need to get rid of those how are we going to do I, I know what we'll do we'll uh, we'll start off wood we want a couple of lumberjack flags, which I'm going to put in there and there. And we also want a gatherer. And so food, gatherer flag, and a gatherer flag. Flip that around. It's going to go in. Ah, that'll do fine. Okay. Awesome sauce. What else do we want? Uh, we need to mark what trees we're going to cut down. So again, uh, here we go. Yeah, cut trees. It's, it's, the, it's like right at the front. the most important thing. Kill trees. Kill all trees. So... Um, We'll mark those, and we'll mark all of those, and even these ones down here. And even though we can't get to them, we'll mark these ones up here. Uh, oh, there's a tree there. Kill it. And there's, there's some here. How unbeaver-like of me to leave trees undesignated for death. Right. You lot can start getting on with that now. So, uh, we've already completed two of the three objectives. We've just got to get these, uh, these built. And we've only got two people working at our district center. These are the guys that kind of build and haul and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to crank this up to four because there's no reason not to, frankly. We start off with seven adults and four children. The children will grow up pretty darn quick. Let's get this going. This is getting done very quickly. And boom, we have a gatherer. And Cassid has been appointed as our gatherer. And that'll be Cassid. Hello, Cassard. And he's getting berries in. Hooray, well done. And then we've got uh, <laughs> Cadavom. Cadavom and um, Jomudu, who are going and chewing away like crazy on trees and bringing in logs. Excellent. That we can now use for building. Hooray. It's going to be awesome. Right, we've destroyed these. We can extend our path. Good. Okay, good. What are we going to do next? Next, water pump. Uh, we've done this stuff. Yeah, water pump. Uh, water is staggeringly important for the beavers. They will get dehydrated. If they don't have access to water, they will get dehydrated very, very quickly and die. So this is huge. Right, water. Water pump. Where am I going to put this? Um, you know what? I want to put a dam across here. So I could I could put that. You know what? That's, that's fine. That'll do absolutely fine. If I'm going to put that there go uh then i want a path coming down there like that and we need to connect the building there i do wish this is my one complaint i do wish when you've got the paths that it would show you where the entrance for the building is because now i happen to know it's there because th that's where the door is um, but it doesn't show you and i think it should so there you go okay we've got that in what are we going to do next um the water pump the next thing we're going to do is put some storage in so we'll get a um we need a log pile to store our logs that can go there and then we need a small warehouse to store everything else which at the moment everything else is food so that's going to go in there excellent okay so we're going to get those built what do we need for this oh that just needs to get built excellent so they're onto that 
Are they onto that? No, no, they're not. They're going to sleep. And of course, they're sleeping on the ground outside because we haven't built the money homes, which means no little beaver babies. Oh, no. They'll only do it if they can do it in private. That's how beavers are. Um, small. So we need 15 logs to get that built. Let's speed things up. I think we speed things up at this point. Okay, so that's getting done. Uh, this has all got done. What have we got to do next? Build a long park. Yeah, done that. Done that. I'll build a small water tank. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We will put in a small water tank, which I'll put in there. That'll do fine. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a farm in. Yeah, we, we, we need to get food going. We need to get food going. We'll put in a farmhouse. Ah, that'll fit there. Go on then. Put the farmhouse there. And you know what? I might even designate this as high priority. Yeah, this is high priority. Get that done. Get that done ASAP. The water tank, well, you've done it. But this is this is desperately important. We need to build up our food stocks because a drought is coming. In the dry season, literally, the place dries up like a bone. Um, and we will, uh, we, our crops will die and there's no water. There'll be no water here. We, we can't pump up water. So there are exceptions to that. Unfortunately, we're fairly near one of them, like this. This is a deep water lake. Um, and when all when everything else dries up, because look, uh, you can see, this goes off the map here, so that will dry up. This, this will retain water. But all of this will dry up, this will dry up, this will dry up. And our farmland will dry up, and our crops will die, and there will be much weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Um, but this water here will stay and so i'm thinking we put a dam across here and we put in a water pump over here is what i'm thinking and we can probably use this as farmland and there's some more berries over here which would be very good but until that happens come on speed up get through the night until that happens we need um we need a, a supply of food right now because right now we've got like 140 berries but they go through food like freaking crazy these beavers and i'm not kidding they seriously go through food like crazy we have currently got everybody working okay so we're gonna need a couple of people to work in the farm uh let's slow it down a little bit while i put the crops in we are going to plant up carrots oh yes we are oh yes we are we're going to put in carrots um let's do Let's see, what's that? That's that's like... Uh, is that 10? 10, 10 or 11? That should... That should be enough. Uh, and on the basis that I think it's enough, it probably isn't. So I'm going to put some... going to put some more in. Yeah. Right. What we need now is some people to actually work there. So I guess until some of our kids grow up, let's take two people out of here and they can go and work there. Hooray! Kodunez and um, Kakagoth. Get on with it. Right. We can now, I think, start thinking about the dam. Yeah, let's think. Let's do the dam. Let's do the dam. So, we go down here. Landscaping. This is the dam. Everything else has to be unlocked with science. Because reasons. Um, let's get a dam going across there and dam going across there. Woohoo! That'll be awesome. Uh, it will not retain the water, though, because the water can just go off the map. Like here and over there and down here. and So it's not, it's not really going to do us any favours, but it's fine. Um, I, wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind having access to these berry bushes as well, frankly. But, but that's, that's a job for another day. Right now, we want to get access to this. This deep water. So, um, I'm going to want, at some point, to put in, where are you, water, uh, a water pump. Now, how's this going to work? Um, I need to access it, so I can't put it there, so it'll have to be, well, no, yeah, no, it will have to be there. I was, I was thinking I could do it some other way, but no, I can't. So, that's going to have to be there. Now, these dams, they cannot walk across these dams. No, they can't. Not without a path. And the path is really cool, because it puts little railings... <laughs> little railings for the beavers as if they need them uh so let's come across to here and then that's going to hook up to there actually while we're doing this i'm going to want this path to go up here as well 
to probably about there. I'm going to want to harvest these trees. Um, we're going to use this as farmland because this will stay. This will stay uh, farmable during the uh, during the hideous drought because it's next to deep water. So, I mean, eventually that will dry up as well. Uh, if like because the droughts start off bad and get horrendous like over time. So yeah, uh, let's speed things up. Let's get through the night. Let's get stuff built. We've got all this to build. We've got this to build. We've got loads to build. Now, science. We want to get some science going as well. So let's do that. Um, science. How do we get science going? We built an inventor. Yay. Now the inventor. Do I? You know what? I think I put the inventor there. That's made for the inventor. Boom. In you go, inventor. And then the other thing that we need to get going, we need to get houses going so that we can have little baby beavers born. Oh, look. We've, got, we've actually got one unemployed person. Uh, well, let's get you hauling. There we go. Right, houses. How do houses work? Um, strangely. Strangely, because you can build houses on top of houses, on top of houses, on top of houses, and have huge multi-leveled structures, which is blooming awesome. Um, it's one of the best features of the game. I love it. So let's start off by trying to build one, two, each one of these houses three people so let's do one two three four now that will house 12 and we've currently got 11 you need excess space otherwise uh, your beavers will not breed no they won't they will only do it in the privacy of their own lodge they're very private they're very private beavers okay how are we doing crops wise it's growing it's growing and they grow pretty darn fast it's watered and alive. Is any of it actually? Oh, look, growth progress. Look at this. Oh, this is already 40%. That's already 44%. What about up here? 34, 30%, 30%, 40, 46%, 47, good lord. Okay, so some of that's gonna be coming in relatively soon, which is great news. In the meantime, uh, there's a lot to build. So get on. Get on and do the building. Don't you, don't you love those little handrails? Also, I love the way that they, when they're, when they're bringing like logs, they walk on their hind legs and then they turn around and they run off on all fours. Brilliant. It is a great guy. Look at this. Look at this. It is awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait to go over here and start harvesting metal from these, these ruins. These are ruins of human cities. Decrepit human ruins providing beavers with the unimaginable, a resource superior to wood. Which is, of course, iron. <laughs> oh my god, we've got that built. We've got the water pump going. Woohoo! In which case, I am going to turn off that building. And hopefully, that'll mean... Yes! Ronjati runs over there and starts pumping water from there. That is brilliant. Awesome. We are going to have water all through the drought. That's going to be awesome. And I'm going to grab a gatherer flag, flip you around, pop you in there. Boom. Excellent. Get that built. And then we can, uh, we can gather these berries over here because this is now useless. So we'll, um, we'll close that down. Okay, how are we doing? We've got uh, we've got two people working at the farmhouse. That's good. We've got two gatherers flags. Uh, that one is shut down. We should have one person working over here, but we haven't. We haven't. We've got one person working there. We need we need another person. We. Well, hang on. We had eleven people. What's happened? As one of our, as one of our people died. Ah. Oh, Look, um, yeah, look at that. A Zebo died of old age. No, that's, that's bad news. It's kind of bad luck as well, dying that early. You should start thinking about building farms, producing power, and generating science points. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm generating science. We've got 54 science going on up here. Excellent. Um, we could, we could do something like, like, we could, we could invent stairs. Now, to you, that, may not seem like a big deal inventing stairs but seriously to a beaver it's a very very big deal they've got to sit quietly in a quiet room 
on their own for, for a long period of time to invent something as technologically challenging as stairs. These beavers, these are the kind of beavers, they're quite happy to use stairs, but they have no idea how they work. Now, there's two ways to generate power. You can use um, a, a hamster wheel, or in this case, a beaver wheel. Uh, that'll generate 50 horsepower, which is incidentally exactly what we need for a lumber mill. Now, the lumber mill... Um, see, if I put that there, then I'd want to see it. I kind of want it to go there. So I kind of want them to finish getting these crops in. Yeah, that would that would work really nicely actually. Uh, uh, but I'm I'm going to do the water wheel, which is um, which is very cool. So do I do I put a water wheel like there? Uh, no, um, no, pro uh, probably there would be better, wouldn't it? Because I want to run it off in uh, in multiple directions. So probably probably I would want it there. You know what? That's where that's where it's going. Uh, yeah, lumber mill goes there. We want uh, a path to the lumber mill. Would be nice. Going down there. Now, I'm thinking that they should get this built just in time for the water to dry up so that this won't produce any power at all. That's that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's my current best guess. I tell you what I should do. I should put in uh, a lumberjack flag over here and I should tell them to start chopping down these trees as well because we want to turn this into farmland so we want to get rid of the trees don't we yeah we do okay cut trees and all trees must die boom go do it so I think we'll get uh, let's get another couple of houses being built now I'm gonna want to have stairs going up here oh hello oh the drought the drought is hitting if we go up here look the water has all dried up at the source and the river has dried up and all that's left all of our crops have died oh are you are you getting in you got one carrot we've got 260 food god i hope that's going to be enough but oh and all these berries are dead as well but look this is still green and the reason that's still green is because we've got this deep water lake there Right, so, um, yeah, this is not going to work until <laughs> until the next um, the next wet season. Oh, well, it is what it is. But the most important thing, we've got water. We want um, bum, bum, food. Farmhouse. Farmhouse goes in there. Cha-ching. This is going to be, this is going to be huge for us. Have, being able to grow food all year round is just awesome. Um, now that this is kind of useless, uh, I'm going to rip this building out. Yeah. Delete the building? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Delete the building. So I think what we'll do is we will plant up we'll plant up some carrots to keep us going temporarily. Yeah, go on. We'll... Wait, what do I want? I want crops, carrots... Let's plant up carrots in all of that area. So we want the path going down there. How big a block am I going to have here? I'm thinking I'm thinking to have one more. So we'd, it would be like that. Go on. Go on, let's do it. And then we'll do... Oh, ah, I, nah, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Pause for a second. Well, have I got enough science? Yes, I've got science. Let's unlock wooden stairs. Yes. So I'm going to want some wooden stairs going up there so i want to get rid of that path there get rid of you yes put some stairs in there i want to do the same thing at the other end so get rid of that path there boom yes and put in some flip you around put in some wooden stairs right connect that up with a path uh, I'll want a path going around those stairs like that. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to want uh, Beaver's Lodge. Where's the housing? There's the housing. We want a Beaver's Lodge flipped around going in there like that. And then we get a path and we put a path along here like this. And then we can get other Beaver's Lodges. Uh, that's labour. No. Housing. Housing. It's the one with the front door. Thank you. 
and then we can put houses like that. So we can put we can put Beaver's Lodges up there like that, which is very cool. I do like that a lot. We are currently stuck at 11 adults. We've got uh, we've got no babies being born. Uh, now, is this producing power? Oh my lord, it's producing power. Is this producing planks? I think it is. Are you producing planks? Unable to get all required materials. Is that because we've got oh because we've got no we've got no lumber at the moment because it's all being used up in here. Okay, fine. Um we got any planks in here? Let's have a look. Planks. Yes! Yes, we've got 11 planks. Uh, and that's enough to get a forester. Hooray! Wood. Uh, forester. Do I want to unlock it? It's 60 science. I've got 179. I did that right. So we could put a forester in. Now, where do we want to put a forester in? Now, I could put a forester in over here. I could put a forester in over here. I'm thinking we put a forester in somewhere over here. Because that enables us to forest up all of this. Um, where's kind of the where's kind of the sweet spot for this? And I'm thinking it's kind of well there. That's the sweet spot, I guess. Boom, in it goes. So we need a path, and a path we shall have. Path up to the door. Great. Okay, so now I can plant up like proper trees. What do we want? Plant trees and bushes. Birch grows in nine days. Grows in 12 days, grows in 24 days. So how about we put some... Um, how about we put some maple down here in this area? So like from here all the way around there like that kind of thing. And in fact, we can put like a bit more. There we go. So that's some nice grass, fast growing birch in that area. And then maybe up on this level, we get, uh, we get some pine. Let's have some pine growing up on this level. Um, if I can, if I can flip the map around and see what the hell I'm doing. So where does the edge of the map go? It comes to there, doesn't it? Yeah. So how about we do we do pine on this half and up into there, and then now these these let's see these uh, two logs twelve days. This produces eight logs, which requires twenty four days to grow. So, yeah, we definitely want to get some of these going as well. Boom. And boom. So, uh, we need some stairs. We need some stairs going up here to this level. Uh, and get this. So, well, let's do it. What do I want? You want stairs, Sky? You just said so. All right, all right, all right. I'll do it. Um, it's paths. <laughs> I, I got lost. I got lost. Uh, let's put you... Should we, do, should we do it maybe there? Yeah. Let's maybe do it there. Yeah. So, let's pop that in there. And then we want to mark trees to be cut, cut trees. And want all of these, please. And as, like as far as the eye can see, uh, all of those. And then what are we going to do? We're going to plant. Uh, we're going to plant potatoes. Yes, potatoes. Where are you, potatoes? You're going to go in. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember where the where the good soil was and i'm thinking it was kind of like like kind of this area let's do let's do a little bit more let's do let's see yeah so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be like something like that so yeah go for it go for it so that's given uh, that's given our uh, our people plenty to do. Uh, so when we start getting potatoes in, what do we do with potatoes? Well, we grill them. Of course we do. What else would you do with a potato but grill it? So we need a grill. Um, yeah. So where are we going to put this? I suppose we could pop it in there. But maybe maybe more central. Maybe more central in the town. Maybe over here. I mean, we, we could put it in as part of the housing complex, but I think that's a bit silly, frankly. Uh... Oh, you know what? It fit, there. it fit quite nicely there. Go on. There you go. We've got our grilling. Hooray. Get that built, guys. Right. So now we're getting the logs produced. That's good. Now we're getting the stairs built. So now you can harvest trees. Right. So now we've got loads and loads of logs coming in. We've got uh, we've got crops. We've got carrots. We've got potatoes. Uh, is the grill getting built? Yes. We need a little bit more. We need a little bit more. And that is the grill built. Hooray! 
Uh, we just need people to work there. And right now, our beavers are not really producing children very fast. But I tell you what, that will do it for uh for episode one i think i could take somebody out of somewhere and uh, and pop them in you know what we've actually only got one person in the farmhouse which is not good let's take let's take somebody out of there so now we've only got two people hauling though which isn't great but we're gonna have a kid growing up fairly soon um so we can definitely live like this we still don't have anybody in the grill but then there, there shouldn't be anybody in the grill at the moment because we haven't grown any potatoes yet but the crop is going to be coming in fairly soon. Well, the drought has started. Now, this drought is going to last 4.9 days, which is not great. And we only have 91 food, which is, which is really, really bad. But the good news is our crops... Okay, we lost a little bit there, but all of the rest of our crops are still growing. That is huge. We've got all year round water... We've got all year round food and we've got potatoes coming in. Hooray! Potatoes are being harvested. The potatoes are being taken, I assume, to the grill. No, because I guess nobody's working there, which would, you know, which would do it, I guess. You know what? I, I tell you what, let's close the inventor down for a little bit. So, oh, here we go. Nyabingi. Nyabingi. Are you going to get some? Yes. We've got some potatoes. We are cooking. We've got grilled potatoes. <laughs> why am I so excited about the prospect of grilled tomato grilled potatoes? But I am. Don't ask me why, but I am. We've got uh, we've, we are we are still producing lumber. That's really important. We are still producing food. That's really important. Still producing water. That's really important. Are we producing babies? We're really not. I would like to see a lot more babies being produced. But look at this. Your beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score. High score six. Woohoo! You know what? That'll do. We're going to leave it here for this first episode. Um, well, I say for this episode. Do you want to see more? If you do, leave me a comment. Maybe, I don't know, hit the like button or something. And um, if we're going to do more, I'll see you for the next one. Peace out. <laughs>